Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6. You guys have sent in your questions. We have a lot to answer in regards to Supergirl's final season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV or Supergirl videos in its final season. So, yeah, check out the videos over the last few days. There have been some interesting updates that I went over because Supergirl has started filming. We should be seeing them out on the street sometime soon, so we should be getting some set photos very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that, and please be sure to turn on notifications to not miss those videos, because when that inevitably does come out, we will be breaking it down. So go check out all the recent videos in the meantime. But for now, let's go over what you guys have sent in. You've sent in some really interesting questions in regards to Supergirl's final season. You can go over to the community tab right now, which is just on my channel. Just go to the channel page, click community, and then comment under the latest post if you have any topics that you want me to go over in any of these upcoming videos, because that's what I'm doing here right now. I'm answering your guys' questions. So the first question comes from Brooklyn on YouTube who asks, do you think we'll see Kara under red kryptonite again? I really want to see Red K Kara again. So that's an interesting question, and I mean, I think it's very optimistic, and I would love to see it. I think Red Kryptonite Kara was one of the best iterations that we saw Melissa play. Like, we saw Melissa play different versions of Supergirl. We had Overgirl, we have Red Kryptonite Kara, we have Red Daughter Kara. They were all great, and I love seeing these different versions of her, but I think Red Kryptonite Kara, we can all agree, is probably the best one, right? I think she is the fan favourite, and lots of people would like to see that again. So, obviously, with them going into the final season, there is a chance that they're going to pay homages and look back at the past seasons. So, I think if out of any season, there is more of a chance it's going to happen this season, but I think Red Kryptonite is probably a thing of the past. However, I would love to see it again, so do you guys think there is a possibility, even like a fraction of a possibility, that that could happen? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so the next question comes from Tanay on YouTube who asks, Who is going to be the new villain apart from Lex Luthor and Rama Khan? So Rama Khan is gone, he's defeated. What we don't know in regards to Supergirl's final season is who that main villain is going to be. We've obviously got to defeat Lex and his mum. They're working on something together. And I have the theory that they might be using that immortality thing in regards to Ramakan and the members of Leviathan in a way that they might spawn like a new villain for the season. I think that's my best bet as of right now. I think the villain may come from Lex and his experiments. But also we have the demon robot at the end of the season, that being Gemma. Like, she turned into that complete freak of a thing, like, what is it? It's like a Terminator thing. And, you know, so she's still around, presumably. Didn't look like she died. Looked like she came alive, really. So, you know, we got Lex, we got his mum, they're together in regards to villains. Then we've also got Gemma, who is supposedly around. So, I've got a feeling that, yeah, the villain is gonna come from whatever Lex is doing. However, there is a chance that a completely new villain will, you know, just pop up and that will be after they've defeated Lex because Lex was supposed to be defeated at the end of last season, that was confirmed. So maybe Lex is defeated pretty fast. So maybe my theory about him using that immortality to spawn a villain may be wrong because maybe they defeat Lex really, really fast because he was supposed to be defeated. And then in regards to Leviathan and what's going on, I don't think Leviathan is a thing anymore. I think Gemma is like a separate thing. So we have to defeat her. Seems like we're probably going to defeat her quicker than we're going to defeat Lex. That's just my personal opinion right now. In regards to who will be the season 6 villain, I don't have a name for the villain. I don't know who it could be, but I've got a feeling it may come out of Lex and his experiments. Okay, so Lance on YouTube asks, what will be Melissa's new suit? So I think there is a very, very slim chance that she'll get a new suit, unless there is like a Red Daughter situation or a Red Kryptonite Kara situation where you have a completely new character. I've got a feeling they're going to stick with the new suit. You know, they upgraded it last season, they added the pants instead of the skirt, and it was great, and it looks great, and... I don't see why they would change it. Yes, it's the final season, but I mean, they got a really good suit, and right now there is no need to change it. 
but if Melissa was to get a new suit, I guess they would just add a few things here and there. They wouldn't make any too big of a change because they are very happy with the suit. Melissa loves the suit, and we've seen from set photos just recently, like, Nia has the same suit, so I'm presuming that they're not going to change Supergirl's suit, and if we do find out about that, we're going to see it in, you know, behind the scenes looks, we're going to see it on the set, but also they will probably release, like, some sort of promotional poster if they do plan on changing the Supergirl suit, but as of right now, it's very, very unlikely, and, you know, we've seen all of the other cast members, like, David's posted in his suit, like I said, Nicole was posted as Nia, and their suits are the same, I don't see anyone else's suits changing, and especially not Supergirl. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Fangal on YouTube, and Fangal asks, Will she do a cameo in any of the DC TV shows? So by she, they mean Melissa. And so the predominant amount of questions that I keep on getting in regards to Supergirl's final season is, of course, will Supergirl be with mon -El? Will Supergirl cross over? That is the other big thing. Will Supergirl cross over? Will Melissa have one final crossover? And so I believe she will have one final crossover before Supergirl ends because they are planning to have a crossover this year and it seems like it's still going ahead with Batwoman and Superman and Lois. And it was said that our characters from our other DC TV shows would be crossing over, even though it wouldn't be like a four or five way crossover, it would be just a two way crossover with other characters in it. So I'm pretty damn sure that that is going to happen, but in regards to after the show ends, will she cameo in any of the DC TV shows? I would say it's likely, and I would say the same for Stephen Amell. And like Stephen, I don't think Melissa is going to come back straight away. If she's going to come back, it will be like two years down the line after Supergirl has ended, and maybe she is asked to come back and she comes back, kind of like what they've done in the past with, you know, other legacy characters, like John Wesley Shipp showing up as, like, the 90s version of The Flash, or Ellen Slater coming back to play a character in the show, or, you know, all these different characters who have come back in crossovers, they've appeared, they're legacy cast members who have appeared in DC films and TV shows in the past, and then they're asked to return, I think at one point, if the shows continue for years on to years, Melissa will come back. And obviously that is not for certain, but I've got a strong feeling that because she loves Supergirl so much, and yes, it's probably a good point to end it in her opinion, I do think she loves it too much to completely forget about it, and so if the crossovers continue year by year, and we have more and more shows and the shows continue onwards, think, you know, second by second, year by year, minute by minute, it's probably more and more likely that Melissa will return for a cameo on any of the DC TV shows. I think it would be very likely for her to return on Superman and Lois, obviously because that's a Supergirl crossover and it's heavily linked, but also The Flash because that is where she originally crossed over. Alright, so let's move on to one of our final questions, and this comes from Rahul on YouTube who asks, Will the sixth season of Supergirl have a simple narrative style like The Flash? Will the season be split into two graphic novels? So, good question, and I think honestly it's going to be pretty similar to that. Just because they weren't able to finish the season, they were supposed to defeat Lex, they've got to wrap up the Lex story, they've got to wrap up the Gemma story, so the first half of the season is probably going to be mainly wrapping up stories from last season, and I believe it will be okay because Supergirl has 20 episodes and that has been confirmed, they're going to be filming for 10 months. I think they have time to complete these stories at the start, potentially start a new story just before like the start of the mid-season, sort of around episode 8 or something, and then continue from there, have like 12 episodes where they can complete this final new story and obviously it will be the final story ever for Supergirl because the show is ending at the end of this season. So, yeah, there is a lot to look forward to in Supergirl Season 6, the final season. I think they're going to do a great job, and I'm really looking forward to see if any of our theories are actually right. I think you guys have been sending in some great theories and, and some great questions. So for now, I'm going to leave you here, but I am planning to do a live stream week by week. It's going to be a regular thing. And that's going to be coming very soon, so I'm going to announce that sometime in the next few days. And it's probably going to be happening in the next few days 
coming up. So be on the lookout for that because I would really like your support when I do that. Also, I'm going to be restarting my Patreon, so there's going to be some cool exclusive benefits and we're going to properly do it this time. So thank you for all the support recently. It really means the world to me. Please be sure to watch every single video every single day it comes out. I mean, even if you're not interested, try and watch it because it's about the shows and, you know, I think you will like it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.